This day will be profitable to all the students who come here so that we can fulfill what God has planned for you in your life. In God's name, we open this gate for you. <laughs> we are in health information management and then we provide this uh, BSc in health information management under uh, Nagaland University. <clears throat> so if you, uh, uh, our department it deals with collection, storage and then retrieval and then protection of patient data. We deal with uh, census collection, pa maintaining patient, uh, patient data, maintaining statistics of our hospital, ICD-9 and ICD-9 coding and then uh, filing retrieving and then uh, MLC register maintaining all those okay. So we maintain patient records, we maintain statistics, dif different statistics of the hospital and then uh, we, do, we do this reimbursement also which is, uh, which is uh, health insurance and stuff. And in physiotherapy, what we do is uh, we mostly, you know, we mostly work on the area of mobility. So, uh, mobility in the sense, for an example, I'm telling you, suppose a person suffered with a stroke, no, a person suffered with a stroke. So, which means either one one half of the body they get paralyzed, meaning weakness, no. So they completely they become bed bound. So in that case, what we do is we, you know, we train a person to come back, or you know, we train them to come back into their feet again. No? So in rehab science, we have three courses. Uh, one is uh, your physiotherapy, and then the other one is uh, bachelor in occupational therapy and bachelor in prosthetic in orthotics. So we have three courses at the moment. General anesthesia is, it is a loss of consciousness and pain during surgery. And anesthesia is categorized under general anesthesia and regional anesthesia. And in the regional anesthesia, it consists of spinal anesthesia and spinal nerve block and epidural and there is other that is called local anesthesia so right now we're I, I just want to tell brief about the general anesthesia these are the general anesthesia equipments and for general anesthesia we intubate the patient throughout the surgery for for doing a surgery we have to intubate the patient so like we intubate them using all these instruments the scopes the tubes so we intubate them we first let them sleep and after that we, by giving the anesthesia drugs, of course, no. And after that, we intubate them using these scopes. There are different types of scopes like McCoy, McIntosh, McGill. Right now, we don't have the McGill, but McCoy, McGill, and after positioning them at the right placement, after we put this tube for delivering the oxygen throughout the surgery, so that the the patient will be asleep. So like, uh, they won't be dead or whatever like that but they won't be having the they won't breathe by themselves so we can the machine will initiate the breaths throughout the surgery uh, this course is named as bsc in anesthesia and operation theater technology our main duty and objective is uh, to assist the anesthetist or anesthesiologist during throughout the surgery during intubation um, as shown in the picture when the doc, uh, when the, when the anesthetist intubate the patient we can help by passing these instruments or by delivering the uh, anesthesia drugs like propofol fentanyl stuff like that uh, and and also not only that but we can help the anesthetist by um, checking if the patient is in the correct position for the surgeries stuff like that yeah. uh, so we are exhibiting the dialysis therapy technology course uh, Basically, this course is about learning the dialysis therapy technology. So, where the uh, students will not just learn about the medical care or therapeutical care, but they will also learn the technological skills also that will be required uh, for the uh, therapy of the patients. So, the course is of like four years and uh, are including one year of internship. So, during the one year of internship, the students will be uh, getting exposed to the dialysis unit, to the ICU, as well as certain wards that will be required in dialysis. Yeah. What courses do you have? Uh, we have we have one course which is BSc Dialysis Therapy Technology and uh, in the future after BSc Dialysis Therapy they can opt to study MSc Renal Replacement Therapy and Dialysis Technology and furthermore they can expand uh, their uh, education in research as well uh, and they can do PhD in uh, Renal Dialysis Technology and Nephrology. Our point of focus is today our point of focus is hearing. So we diagnose, we treat and we give back the hearing. And we treat the voice disorders. Okay. 
So we have so many uh, facilities that is uh, in our department. We do surgeries. We have all these microscopic surgeries. We have endoscopic surgeries. And there are so many, so many modalities. It would be difficult to tell everything in the detail, but uh, these are the few things. So today we are displaying all these hearing aids, uh, how to test your ear, and how to you know check your voice. Uh, these are the few things. Yeah. So today here we are displaying uh, the courses that we are going to offer in the days to come. That is diploma and bachelor degree in both speech and audiology. Okay. Uh, courses that today our point of focus is uh, courses. Like I said, is uh, courses in diploma of. Uh, speech and audiology okay it's a as you can see diploma is one year we also have bachelor which is four years and you can go on to get your master which is two years and you can even apply for your phd again we are from the department of cardiology and as we all know like this is the first cat lab and the cardiology department in nagaland and we have dr abitso here who is our cardiologist so here uh, now i am the cardio like we have four cardiac technologists here and then i am now doing my two year of service obligation so as a cardiac technologist like uh, we are the ones who assist in all the procedures here along with the nurses and the doctor so we have different tests like ecg echo and then treadmill stress test 24 hours of halter monitoring and uh, trans esophageal echo where we put in a tube like endoscopy uh, to see uh, like a more clear view of the heart and then we have the cath lab where we take the patients like uh, patients from the villages and all come in chopper and all here when there is some emergency and we rush them to the cath lab and then we open up the arteries to save them so yeah that is what we mainly do here no, for now we don't have a course here, but then we are planning to start a diploma since we are in need of people. Like we are four now, but then since our patient load is also increasing, for sure we need people. So we are in the process of training people now. And then uh, from next year, we'll have a diploma course too. So what we do is like we check the vision. We are licensed and registered. Okay, and then uh, we correct the vision by prescribing the lenses. We have uh, prescribed, dispense the glasses, we prescribe the contact lens, and then uh, what we also diagnose and treat and management. We give the management plan. So we, how to go to this course, how we go to this course, is like we have to uh, do plus two. After plus two, we can choose the science stream. Science stream with PCMB with 50% marks. After the 50% marks, we can join the Bachelor of Optometry, wherever the colleges we have to look for. It. the colleges that have a uh, bachelor of optometry courses we can join over there after that we can look uh, for work we can just uh, choose the profession to work after the bachelor of optometry we can work we have many scope uh, where we can work I will come to jail before that we can also go to the masters when we can go to the masters it's like we can work as a professor we can also go for the research thing okay and then we have particular fields where we can do also specialization like to handle the pediatrics we can also do specialization in contact lens we have uh, specialization in low vision and many more okay and then the same way we can after the masters we can go to the PhD level we will do the research over there and bring up new things uh, we have starting from x-ray, we have uh, special procedures, fluoroscopy, CT, MRI and ultrasonography also comes under, uh, come on, come under our department. So mainly we use, uh, uh, make use of x-rays uh, to uh, find out the pathological changes and all in our body. So if you look around you can see various modalities, charts and all related to that. So. Um, the course conducted by uh, our department is BSc Radiology and Imaging Technology where uh, it's a three year course and uh, there uh, uh, students will be learning about all these modalities, how to handle the patient, how to use the machine, how to produce the images and uh, actually the uh, department of radiology is very essential in a hospital and, uh, uh, and it's uh, the course and the uh, job are in high demand actually right now. So. Uh, I think it will be a good opportunity for uh, everyone uh, to know about this department and come to uh, uh, like uh, for the course and all if they can come and learn more about this department. I think it will be more encouraging and uh, mo lots of opportunities are there for higher studies also. Yeah. This country is for medical laboratory technology and here we are trying to give an exposure on what our course provides. And as you see, we have different tables. So first of all, I'll just be explaining about our course. 
is a bachelor course. So here is a three and a half years course. Three years is a class, and then the half year there is six months. We are internship. So here, actually, we the main three subjects that we provide are biochemistry, microbiology, and pathology. So here in this in these courses and in these subjects, we try to give a bachelor degree. So uh, we are also distributing this. So if you are interested then you can please have a look and just the key highlights here it's a medical laboratory technology BSc course and here mainly it's a lab so what we do is we diagnose different kinds of diseases or infections which the doctor prescribe you to do the test so like most common examples are blood blood test urine test so those are the most common ones our department is called uh, radiotherapy and this department is uh, for the treatment of cancer using radiation. So we also called it uh, radiation oncology department and we have certain procedures uh, to do treatment. So I have put in here uh, workflow of radiotherapy. So if one patient is ready to undergo treatment, then it will go to uh, OPD consult, uh, consultation. Then after we'll do a mold uh, room activity that is for to do immobilizing the patient and then CT and then to treatment planning system and then to the uh, treatment machine. So that is how overflow for radiotherapy. And uh, we have uh, opportunities also uh, for uh, scope. That is uh, radiotherapy technologies that uh, requirement is uh, just class 12 standard in uh, science and so the job opportunities for radiotherapy technologies they can work as radiotherapy technologies uh, simulation technologies then dosimetries also and so on and then another opportunity uh, that is msc in medical physics the requirement is bsc with uh, physics as a main subject and so for the medical physicists job opportunities they can work as uh, medical physicists in cancer hospitals that has uh, cancer uh, equipment facilities. Then they can become as an RSO, that is radiation safety officer. They can do research also, doctoral also. And so uh, this is how our department is working for the treatment of cancer using radiation. This outreach department. So in outreach department, we train people for uh, primary health care as well as we also train people for uh, income generating skill development program. So we have around 40 skills training various kinds of people and these are the items that we used to train. So we have here paper bag, soap, candles and then these are paper pen. These are craft from the uh, waste materials. So we have around 40 skills development program right now. I'm, have, I'm enjoying here, learning a lot of new things. Uh, there are different types of uh, like activities going on, that's why. And uh, there are also sports, sports are going on, and some, so many other facilities, that's why I, I find it very interesting. Obviously it was very helpful. Mm. We were very lucky indeed for to get an opportunity to see all the stalls here. See, because mm, all the things we learn here are completely different from the school environment. So, yeah, I find it helpful because like after two of uh, we go actually playing like what to choose about our career. And maximum people go for any J, but they neglect all this. But coming here, I got to know many things about radiology, sound therapies, ENT, and it find it, I find it helpful. This event helps me to show me a path where I have to go and achieve my goals, which way I'll go. And if I go this way, like if I choose cardiology, I will become someone and like I'll achieve my goals. And this event, event helps me to learn more about the things which I want in my life to achieve. Uh, yes, I found it educational. I think um, I might like make up my mind to come and uh, work here as an intern uh, when I pass out my class here. Yeah, of course it was good uh, like from all the sites that we are interested all the things we have labeled 
and we got to learn a lot of new things, uh, physical or like a true uh, theory or, or like physical, so both, both ways they showed us. So, and like I hope like this kind of uh, program go on in the future also because it helps all the students so much and we're so like thankful and we look forward to seeing this kind of program again. Thank you. I think the response is good. The way I've seen the students interacting with the, you know, the staff in each department, the faculty in each department, they're very enthusiastic in telling the students what the course is about, what the department is doing, how important and useful it is for helping patients with the type of disabilities or difficulties they have. I've seen the students interacting actively with the faculty who's talking about it, the staff who's talking about it, and they've put interesting things like games, which relate very well to the subject they are talking about and I think it has gone very well in you know imparting the knowledge of what they are doing and why it is important I think it's a great uh, exhibition yes